Hello, it's Miss Heather, piano and voice teacher at Conservatory of the Ozarks. And I'm just filming another study guide video, and it probably will be boring. So if you're looking for something entertaining, you probably should not watch this. I'm gonna turn off these fans though. Um, this is just to help me study for my test for my master's degree. So my question I am going to answer hopefully from memory so that I'll be on track with my goal chart to pass my exams. This is question number one from the hymnody study guide. List and discuss Luther's hymns. From where did he draw his materials? From what purposes did he or for what purposes did he write his hymns? Where and how were they used in public worship? Okay, so I'm not, I'm turning my laptop away so I cannot peek. First, I will list Luther's hymns, a few of them, and describe some of their um, sources and uses. Um, starting with, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, which was an original composition based on Psalm 46. Although fools say with their mouths, which was published in the Oxleader book, Come, Holy Ghost, which was from the Lysen, or from the an office hymn. Dear Christians, let us now rejoice, which was published in the Oxleader book. From Heaven Above was a Christmas song and Contrafacta. From Trouble Deep I Cry was published in the Oxleader book. God the Father in Heaven Above was from the Kyrie. Ich muss dich lassen was contrafacta. In dich hab ich gehafet was sourced from the Psalter. Isaiah in a vision did of old was from the Sanctus. Lamb of God, pure and holy, was from the Anus Dei. Lord, thee I love with all my heart was a newly composed hymn. Now let us sing to God the Holy Ghost, was a pre-Reformation religious folk song. Now sing we, now rejoice, was source from was a um, medieval Latin hymn of religious content not directly related to the liturgy. O morning star, how fair and bright was a newly composed hymn. O sacred head now wounded was from Contrafacta. Tune was. O God the Father in heaven above. O God the Father in heaven above, look down. I think is the name of it. it. Was published in the Octoliter book. Out of the depths I cry. Was an original composition based on Psalm 30. Savior of the nations, come. Was an office hymn. Uh, try and God be thou our stay. Was taken from. Lysen, and we all believe in one true God, was from the Nicene Creed. A discussion of Luther's hymn characteristics would include the fact that they were angular, militant, purposeful, rugged, rhythmic, steady, sure, strong, with speech-like rhythms and meters to match the German diction and accent of the texts. They were not soft and comforting. Luther also, I forgot to say before, uh, obviously found source material for his hymn texts in the Bible, <laughs> uh, in the Psalms and um, other 
biblical texts like the Magnificat and the Nunc Dimittis and other famous musical sections in the Bible. Um, the texts that Luther chose to write were didactic texts. In other words, he wrote his hymns to teach. Luther's purposes for his hymns really were um, to teach believers and to worship God in the reverse order, to worship God and teach believers. So, Viva Vox Evangelii, the living voice of the gospel. And his hymns were used for public worship in the Lutheran church as part of the Lutheran mass during the worship service, the public worship service in the church on Sunday. And then Luther also hoped that people would sing the hymns throughout the week to reinforce the sermon they'd heard from the pulpit on Sunday. So people would sing them while they were doing chores, washing the dishes, like walking down the road, at the bedside, around the dinner table. It was popular to sing hymns before you ate or after you ate back then. Um, and he also hoped students in parochial schools would sing his songs. So in the public worship service, in private in-home devotionals, and in schools, people were singing his hymns, which was what he had hoped for. And that's the end of my answer. So now I'll check and see if I got it right. Okay. I have three points. Luther's hymns, Luther's source materials, and Luther's purposes, which I think I kind of remembered all of those. For Luther's hymns, a list of Luther's hymns includes Mighty Fortresses Our God, original composition based on Psalm 46, all the full say with their mouths from published in the leader book, Come Holy Ghost, an office hymn. Dear Christians, let us now rejoice, published in the leader book from Heaven Above, a Christmas song, Contrafacta, from Chapel Deep I Cry, published in the leader book, God the Father in Heaven Above, Gregorian chant from the Kyrie. I don't think I said Kyrie for that one. Ich muss dich lassen. Contrafacta. In dich hab ich gehafet. From the Psalter. Isaiah in a vision did of old. From Sanctus. Lamb of God, pure and holy. From Anus Dei. Lord, thee I love with all my heart. A newly composed hymn. Let us pray to God, the Holy Ghost. Pre-Reformation religious folk song. Now sing we, now rejoice, a medieval Latin hymn of religious content not directly related to the liturgy. Can you stop? O morning star, how fair and bright, newly composed hymn. A sacred head now wounded, contrafacta. O God from heaven, look down. Okay, so, O God from heaven, look down. I got that one a little wrong. Not O God the Father, just O God from heaven, look down. It's published in the Oct Leader book. Out of the depths I cry, original, based on Psalm 30. Savior of the Nations Come, Latin Office Hymn. I stumbled on that one, I think. Latin Office Hymn. And Triune God Be Thou Our Stay, Lysen. We all believe in one true God, Nicene Crete. A discussion of Luther's hymns includes the tunes and the texts. The characteristics of Luther's tunes included words like angular, militant, purposeful, rugged, rhythmic, speech-like rhythms, and meter to match German diction and accents. Sturdy, sure, strong, not comforting, and soft. The texts of Luther's hymns were didactic. Point number two, Luther's source materials. Unlike Zwingli and Calvin, Luther believed a tune from any source was acceptable for a hymn tune. Luther drew his materials for his hymns from a variety of sources, including historical sources and biblical sources. So his historical sources included ancient hymns, the breviary, contrafacta, Gregorian chant, Latin cantios, Latin office hymns, Lysen, Macaronic texts, the mass, Medieval Latin hymns of religious content not directly related to the liturgy, 
original compositions, pre-Reformation religious folk songs, the Psalter, the sequence, and the biblical sources, of course, included the Psalms and biblical texts. <sighs> yeah, this is why I never study at home. Point three, Luther's purposes. Worshiping God and teaching believers, proclamation and praise. Oh, I forgot that. Proclamation and praise. Viva Vox Evangelii, the living voice of the gospel. Corporate church worship. Luther's hymns were used during public worship services within the Lutheran church. Luther helped the people sing their faith each week through the text in his didactic hymns. Private home devotions. Luther's hymns were sung throughout the week to reinforce the message heard from his pulpit on Sundays while walking down the street, completing chores, or before a meal. Parochial schools. Luther's hymns were sung by school children in parochial schools. So I mostly got it right. I still have to think about it a lot, which isn't as nice. Hopefully I can get to where I can just say all the information without having to sit there and think about it. But pretty good. So I met my goal for the date of my video. Good job, Miss Heather. <laughs>